Hi, Aaron here from Superior Singing Method, and this is Vocal Tips, How to Sing with Power. All right, vocal tips, how to sing with power. Now, what I wanna talk about here is, is the airy voice versus a more powerful voice. So when airy, you know, it, back in the 80s and even some of the 90s, it was like, it was talking airy, singing airy, da 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 da. You know, it was kind of a style. And it's fine if you wanna throw that style into some of your songs um, as a stylistic thing, but singing that way is pretty taxing on the voice and, you know, stylistically not really popular these days anyway. But, there, but some people sing airy because they don't really know, they don't really know how to get that full chord closure, that da 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 da, you know, get that kind of closure, that sound to where you can get, uh, hit high notes with power to make it sound good. Rather, it's more like, uh, uh, you know, that, that kind of sound where, uh, where it's like blowing the chords apart. Your vocal chords, it's like, Ah, and that's what happens. And then some people think, oh, well, I'm not getting enough power. I need to just push or force harder. But that actually doesn't make sense. And it, it, it worsens it because when you force harder, it really blows your chords apart. Uh, it, 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 because your chords can only stand so much pressure being held together when you like push a bunch of air, it's like, poof, blows out like, ah, and you get, get that sound. So that, that's not what you want. So we want the more clo chord closure, the better sound, the better tone you have. The less chord closure, the more airy it's gonna sound. Okay, so let's talk about an exercise that's gonna help you get more chord closure and get rid of that kind of airy thing, get a more connected sound. Uh, this, is, this is something you can do with scales or without scales, but you can just kind of do it on your own. It's ba, ba, ba. So you go um, ba, 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 go as high as you want because, and what we're doing here is the b, b, it creates like a little compression in the vocal cords that helps them grip together and get that chord closure that you need. And if you can get, this is like called an onset exercise, if you can get it right at the onset, usually your entire phrase that you sing is gonna keep, keep within that range that you want or keep with keep that chord closure that you want. So that's why that onset is, is so, so important. Now what you can do with this, the bars or whatever, ba 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 you know, in scales, but you can actually do your song melody with the ba ba ba. So instead of ba, or you can do the ba ba ba, but whatever your song melody is like, um, ba 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 ba, whatever, I, I'm just making up a melody, but do your song melody with the bars and get fill that chord closure and that chord connection and that good strong onset and that'll help you sing less airy and with more power. So um, that's all I've got for you now. Click the link below for my favorite vocal exercise and some other fun free stuff there. And also you can find my course, Superior Singing Method there, which is an online systematic step-by-step. -step. I teach you exactly what to do and when to do it to create and build the voice that you want. So you can click that on the link below. Also leave me a comment if you wanna, if there's some content that you would like for me to do and put online. A lot of the content I do comes from there. So I hope you're well, have a great day.